Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. Hey y'all, this content is brought to you by Liquid Web, the most helpful humans in hosting. If you need help with your WordPress website, if you need support, if you need fast hosting, secure hosting, especially if you're running WooCommerce on your WordPress website, I want you to take a look at them, talk to their team, talk to their support because they are by far the most helpful humans in hosting. Hey, so everybody's thinking about mobile first design. As you've been designing this website on a desktop view, what does it look like on a two to three inch screen? How do you ensure that your users coming into that mobile experience have a great experience, that they're able to click on things easily, that they're able to see things stack beautifully and things aren't overlapped or shrunk in together, right? You wanna have a great mobile experience. And if your theme author has not allowed you to do that easily or quickly, you're gonna to have to write a mobile media query. That means nerd code, you've gotta figure that out. Well, I'm telling you right now, it's one of the reasons why I absolutely love the Divi theme or the Divi builder. You can download this, install it into your WordPress theme and you're off and running. And I'm gonna show you right now how to use it and optimize your WordPress website for a great mobile first experience. So one of the most frustrating things is whenever you're looking at your website in the desktop mode, it looks really, really great. But whenever you go to view it in a mobile phone or mobile device, unfortunately, it has some overlap or maybe things just don't really look that well put together. So what I want to show you is how cool this is with Divi that it allows you to take a quick look at what it would look like in a mobile view. So you'll come up here and you'll enable the visual builder. And now you can do this, of course, using the Divi theme or just even using the Divi builder on your own theme, right? doesn't matter. Either way, the builder is what gives you this capability. Notice what I did down here, down at the bottom, since you've enabled the builder to happen on your uh, page now, especially if you built it with a builder, you've got the purple dots down here at the bottom. We're going to open that up. And over here on the left side, it gives us different views of different devices. Here's desktop, here's tablet, and here's phone. So if I wanted to test how this would look, this layout would look in a, in a mobile phone view for mobile first uh, design, this is exactly what you'd want to do. And you want to see how everything just kind of sits and stacks perfectly, making certain that everything uh, just breathes really well, that the font looks good, there's no overlapping, and nothing kind of covered up. Well, I actually do have a little bit of a problem because down here toward this section, you can see you've kind of got an overlap happening here. You see how my button is hidden? So here's what you get to do on a mobile view now. I'm going to click on my gear icon. I'm going to go into the design mode because I need to get to the spacing area. And I want to adjust the bottom margin to give it some room to breathe on the bottom of this button. But I only want to do this in mobile view. So you notice here that it's got desktop mode. Oops, let me uh, get back there. Here you go. Desktop mode, right? We've got tablet mode where it drills down into a tablet view. And we've got phone mode where it drills down into the phone. We notice also that it had the same issue on this tablet mode. So if you'd like, what you can do at this point, being on tablet mode, is you can go ahead and just, let's add in about 60 pixels if we want. Let's drill this out, give it some room to breathe, and add in about 60 pixels in there. That looks great in tablet mode. Let's go look at phone now. It's going to apply that into that phone mode as well, giving me a little bit more space. And when I go back to desktop mode, Notice it's not there. There's nothing there in desktop mode, and it still looks really nice. So now I know that my spacing looks nice and clean, and there's no overlapping issues on any of those views. How cool is that? You can do that also with text. I, not I noticed down here that this text, my H3 here, is kind of just got too, too crowded right here in this space. So I can go in here. Notice it's an H3. I see that right here. I'm going to go into my design mode go into heading text and go over to my H3 section. And then I'm going to go to my text size and I'm in my phone view here. See this? We've got a desktop, tablet, and phone. In the phone view, I'm going to go ahead and increase my font size just a little bit to take join down to that second line. And then what I want to do is come down here to my line height and play around a little bit with that and let that breathe as well. So that looks beautiful now in my phone view. Let's check it out in tablet mode. I like it. Desktop mode, of course, it's in a column over here on this right side. So you get to see that sitting nicely. How perfect is that, you guys? How good does that look now? I love that view in mobile. 
uh, designing like this, you can even have a better mobile experience than a desktop experience if you really wanted to. You can just get really creative with what you do in mobile view. And I tell you what, I don't know too many themes that let you do something like that. The second thing is, what if I would like to hide something in my mobile view? Maybe I don't want four testimonials to kind of elongate this page in a mobile view. I only want two. You can do that with the Divi Builder. Normally, you'd have to write a media query in order to do that. But with a Divi Builder, you just figure out, okay, let's say I want this one to be hidden on mobile, advanced visibility, disable on phone. That means hide it. Check that. And then over here, I'll go ahead and disable this other one. You can disable whichever ones you want, really. Disable on phone, check. And then when I go to look in the mobile view now, you'll see them kind of muted out here. See this one? See this one kind of muted? See this one works? And this one's kind of muted. That means if I were coming in here on a cell phone, uh, you would not see these at all. It's just because I'm in an admin mode right now that I even see them here muted. But how nice is that, that you can literally hide any section you want with the Divi Builder. Another great feature that I love is you can actually change the text uh, in a mobile view. So you can hover over your content area instead of being in design mode now to play around with spacing and fonts and all that. You just come over here to the content area and you can click on the mobile there. As you hover over, you get that extra little menu. Now I'm in the phone mode. Notice that. And if I wanted to, I can just throw in a break here, just like that. Come back to the design in the text and I want to increase that font size just a little bit right in the phone mode. Increase that font size. Nice. I'm going to increase that line height in mobile as well. Nice. Previous speaking events. And you know what? I even like the idea of having that be uh, centered on this. There you go. Look how nice that looks and how different that looks. If I go back to desktop mode, it's still going to be perfectly left aligned and that smaller font. Isn't that nice? You can do all of that inside of the Divi Builder. Pretty cool, right, you guys? I love the Divi theme. If you follow my channel, you know that I have an entire playlist dedicated to this theme. If you'd like to see it, check out the link below. Be sure to click like and subscribe because every week I'm creating content just like this to help you improve your online marketing inside the world of WordPress. In all of this crazy time dealing with coronavirus, I hope each of you stay safe. That's my kid. I love you too, son. That's pretty awesome. I hope you know I love you too. Hope you guys stay safe and uh, have a good one. See y'all next week. Bye, everyone.